number 12. And uh, what a change from a 1,400 horsepower truck these things must make to Steve Parrish. Being about five feet closer to the ground from his driving position. Quite some surprise, I'm sure. Chris Nissen, that distinctive pink and white helmet, right out into the front. And the equally distinctive number one, of course, what else would you expect? And uh, red overalls, multicoloured helmet of Michael Schumacher. So closely fixed to his exhaust, in fact, that he is probably uh, influencing the power produced by the engine. Schumacher dives through ahead, but with less momentum, comes out behind. Onto the back straight they go. Schumacher has the better line this time, though. He'll sew it up into the chicane, undoubtedly. Down he goes onto the brakes, assumes the racing line, flicks it in, flicks it out, up high. Job done. Chris Nissen. Not one to give up though, dives down the inside, he's seen it done on him, he's going to have a go, taking this all in, Mark Sura in third place, a swap to some clean dry yellow overalls for him, but still that familiar red and white Swiss coloured helmet. Again, chopping to the inside, Schumacher goes into the lead, wide onto the brake, Sura sparking over the bumps, from the back of the cart, nothing to worry about. Parrish in fourth position, good race by him. Having a much better Sunday than he had Saturday. This is a good dice indeed. Chris Nissen, not one to take anything lying down. Oh dear me. Picks up wheels for the first time, braking so late and flicking it into the chicane like that. Shoe me alongside, under he goes. Not much in the way of slipstreaming going on here, but uh, there's not much slipstream to be had. It's all close Ford action. Harris still well on his own in fourth position. And Mark Stewart says, right, well, I'll go down underneath and I'll take the lead into the chicane then. Oh, my word, and Chris Nissen has a savage, savage go at Michael Schumacher. And that's it. Nissen is out of the cart and out of the race. And uh, Schumacher continues, lucky not to have thrown the chain, it's on the side of the drive chain. And, um, well, what can you say? That is Schumacher's braking. Schumacher always, in his Formula One car, brakes gently and early. And it would seem that he was doing exactly the same on the car there, setting up for a last uh, gasp attack on Sura, actually going into the chicane. I think that rather caught Nissen by surprise. Side by side they go, around the banking. It doesn't matter that you've got the racing line here because Schumacher will just as happily pass you on the right off the racing line. Very nice move indeed by Mark Shearer. Immediately dived right up high. Schumacher's favourite way of using his momentum to get past and therefore made the German perhaps hesitate a fraction. Didn't stop him coming back past there as they sweeped down onto the back straight so Schumacher now ahead for an entire lap that's the first time the leader's been held for anything like that distance consecutively by one driver half a dozen carts lengths now between them and Schumacher has metaphorically and literally indeed got his head down charging away from Schurer Jura closes up very nicely indeed, superb stuff. Very, very good uh, approach into the chicane and excellent momentum carried through it by Shura. Half dozen cart length converted into the lead. Schumacher goes very, very deep and forces uh, Shura to go almost past the last gasp turn-in point before he came back and out of the chicane. So shades there of... Uh, Schumacher and Alesi trying to battle each other around Adelaide. Both staying on the brakes until way past the turn-in point. Schumacher again ahead. And Schur is really giving this everything, isn't he? For a man who is uh, giving away some 18 years in age, therefore speed of reflexes to his opponent, who of course is... Uh, right at peak form at the moment Shira is giving this uh, a very good fist indeed it's nice to see the old blokes doing well isn't it Steve Parrish as well just three years younger than Shira he's very much a child of the 50s 41 years old 
multiple British and European truck champion. In addition to, of course, his former career as a motorcycle ace and uh, the odd car race as well. I remember seeing him in uh, TVRs and particularly in the Caton Vauxhalls a few years ago. He really does know how to drive pretty much anything. Flamboyant little flick across the line there by Marcus Oesterreich. But well down the order. Number two, Roland Ash. Not holding up the leaders this time, but taking third position ahead of number 12, our man Steve Parrish. So, Schumacher pops off to talk to the team, get them to put a bit more downforce on the front, perhaps uh, wind off the anti-roll bar on the rear or something. And there is the Schumacher that is so depressing for Formula One drivers to see because he looks as fresh as that at the end of a Grand Prix. With the exception perhaps of the first two races of last season. Okay, now let's have a quick look again. He's right on Schurer's tail. He taps Schurer. Uh, maybe that was it. Loses a little bit of momentum. And Chris Nissen, as you don't, doesn't take his foot off the throttle. So that uh, view, I think, shows it a little clearer. And uh, withdraw all I say about Chris Nissen's enthusiasm, getting the better of him with Schumacher breaking early. I think perhaps that Schumacher merely lost speed by uh, running into the back of Mark Schurer. So, Shui wins.